All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're gonna be in the 147 pound division, I believe, where Floyd Mayweather Jr. makes his return to Showtime pay-per-view according to reports and potential people to be on that card. Not sure if it's going to be him fighting him or not is Keith Thurman and Danny Garcia. This is very interesting because it does kind of go with some of the rumors that have been out about Showtime. But let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the, uh, I believe it's going to be the welterweight division, or at least three fighters that have been champions in the welterweight division. One of them is the biggest name in the sport of boxing uh, this century, easily, and that is Floyd Money Mayweather. According to reports that came out from Dan Rayfield, he is in discussions with for making a Showtime a return to Showtime pay per view, and on the and the same night, if not the same fight, I'm hoping the same fight. You will see the likes of Keith Thurman and Danny Garcia. Also, now, before I get into the details of it, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you are a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much. It means an absolute ton um, to the channel. Thank you to everybody that supports out there in the super thanks of videos like this. But let's get into this because I'm actually kind of excited for this, man. Uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. is coming back into the ring. He's going to be back on a Showtime pay-per-view card. And uh, Dan Rayfield has reported that Keith Thurman uh, is in talks to be uh, in that on that card as well. And Danny Garcia as well. So this continues a trend, if true, that I think is very, very exciting for, for boxing. And I have not not really been a big supporter of so of the last several fights that Floyd Mayweather Jr. has had. Uh, the one with his sparring partner, one that was in Japan. Uh, even though, you know, I think I might have bought the one where he had a former sparring partner uh, that he fought because I was like, man, let me see this fight. I like seeing Floyd. And actually, Floyd can still fight. He may not actually be, you know, he's not at the level that he was before, but still enjoy seeing him in the ring. Um, but to see him come back on Showtime pay-per-view, I think is, man, I think is pretty big, man. And I'll tell you why. I don't, again, they said that he would be in an exhibition fight, and I believe that he's going to be in an exhibition fight. No reason for me not to believe that it's an exhibition fight, because I doubt very much he's going to risk that 50-0 and 0 getting in the ring with somebody, you know, at... 45 years old. There's really nothing that he is, uh, nothing left to prove for him uh, in the boxing ring. But if he's on the same card as Keith Thurman and he's on the same card as Danny Garcia and they both have competitive good fights, I think that that is a good, I think that that could be a good trend in boxing. And it also kind of jives with what some of the things that people have said about Showtime, uh, Showtime Sports, and what's going on with them. If you've not heard some of the conversations going on, the what people have said is that it looked like uh, Showtime was going to be getting out of boxing, and the, if they do dabble in boxing, it's going to be the occasional pay per view. Well, let me tell you, man, it looks like they're doing more than dabbling in pay-per-views and very good pay-per-views. You also have, aside from this, which I'll, and I'll get into more detail about it, you have a pay-per-view card that is coming up. I do believe they said it's going to be in November, in San, uh, October, oh, excuse me, in November in San Antonio, Texas. And the card would be David Benavidez versus Demetrius Andrade. And in the co-main event, you would have Jose Benavidez versus Jamal Charlo. That's an excellent, that's an excellent fight, man. And it's a fight that you probably can only make on pay-per-view because of the amount of money that 
two of the main event, two of the co-main event fighters are making, and actually really three of them, because uh, Demetrius Andrade is all, or Andre has always been a high paid fighter. David Benavidez is now a high paid fighter, and so is Jamal Charlo. So in order to get that type of back to back good fight, and if the if if networks themselves are not going to be willing to pay for the fight outright, then you're going to wind up having them on pay per view. But being the like the diehard boxing fan that I am, dude, I'll take it. And that goes for that card, and it goes for this card as well. Uh, Floyd being it would probably headline the card, but you get a stay busy fight from Keith Thurman, who definitely, definitely needs to be active. Uh, it would have been nice if Keith Thurman had fought Yordanis Ugas instead of Mario Barrios fighting Yordanis Ugas because we would have seen him last weekend. But, you know, he's been inactive. Uh, Danny Garcia, I haven't, I don't remember the last time we saw Danny Garcia, but Danny, I think Danny Garcia fought. He looked, maybe I think the last time he fought may have been against Jose Benavidez. And I think that was definitely going on a year ago. But all three of those fighters are clearly older fighters. Um, one is a retired fighter. Keith Thurman is definitely an older fighter in his mid to late 30s. Danny Garcia, mid to late 30s. Um, but, I like to see these guys fight and I want to see them fight as much as I can. Hopefully we can get more fight cards like this uh, where you get several good fights in a row on the same card. That's what we got with the Canelo Alvarez versus Jamal um, versus Jamel Charlo fight. There was obviously Canelo and Jamel, but before that was a good fight with Oscar Barrio, with, with Mario Barrios and your Danis Ugas. And before that, you had Erickson Lubin, who's, you know, a perennial contender and a young, a young prospect slash contender in Jose Ramirez. We got to see all of those fights. So I like it, man. And better uh, Floyd, you know, use his, his extreme, uh, extremely big uh, boxing footprint and and his big, very, very big brand, boxing brand to sell fights for other fighters that are actually having real fights. Uh, and, you know, who knows what else you could get on those type of undercards. I so at the end of the day, man, I like it. Now, again, I do not believe that it is going to be Floyd Mayweather Jr. fighting Keith Thurman or Floyd Mayweather Jr. fighting Danny Garcia. But maybe you could have Keith Thurman and Danny Garcia, if they're both on the same cards, go up another fight and fight each other uh, in a rematch. I don't, I don't know, man, but I'll take it, man. I just want to see more boxing, more of these older fighters uh, being more active. Of the criticism that we've had and people have had for the PBC uh, over the last several years, I think the one very valid criticism that you have is the that there's a lot of inactivity for uh, for PBC fighters where they're fighting once a year, sometimes once every two years. It it just would be a lot better, in my opinion, if these guys were more active. And anyway, I'll I'll take it. I'll take it. Hopefully what Dan uh, Dan Rayfield said is true and we get to see it. Uh, don't know again who he would be, who Floyd would be in an exhibition against, but I'll take it. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.